Localizers, what the duck is this? Uh, another one of these duck. fucking drama things, more localizer drama. Oh my god. What is this? Localizers admit to changing script because the show sucked and they made it good. Lovely Complex has a dub written by people who op people who openly despise the script. In a now deleted post, Jello Apocalypse goes on a diatribe about how the series problematic aspects and how discotheque media mostly let them do what they want. Oh fuck, I'm gonna have to zoom in on this. This of course includes running the rewritten script by sensitivity readers and hiring people from specific groups to join the cast rather than concerning themselves with telling the author's stories. So this is a quote from them. Lindsay passed the episode and its script by multiple trans sensitivity readers and not only made sure to cast a trans person as Seiko, but also to cast as many of the trans actors who auditioned for the role of her as possible. I don't have an exact number, but I think Lovecom Dub has like something like 20 trans slash I guess NB probably means non-binary actors in it. It's one of the transiest anime dubs in existence, if not the transiest trans rights. Well, I'm glad to see that somebody decided to use another person's intellectual property and work as a platform for them to spread their agenda. Thank fucking God. Thank God that the world is a, uh, is a platform for them to express what they want to think with the world. I feel like any normal person who's like a progressive thinker should be very much against this because this alienates a lot of normal people. This makes people bigoted. It's making all of you look bad. And also further uh, confirms the dishonest practice of Western anime companies. They hide any changes that would upset anime fans because the audience is full of horrible human beings who criticize them for overriding the creator's work. Of note, the most anime distributors do tend to ask that you don't, quote, advertise changes like making things less transphobic. Well, yeah, because people are buying that anime and that's just what the anime is. This is because large swaths of the anime community are racist, sexist, or transphobic and will descend upon a company's social media page for weeks for the strangest of things. Discotech added a content warning for one of their discs and got flack for that, so they're understand to be a little skittish now. Funimunchen and Crunchyroll works like this too. TLDR, most anime distributors don't care if you make things nicer or more gay or add more representation. They just asked if you don't flaunt the changes or use buzzwords. Well, you're genuinely not allowed to say hot button words like sexism or patriarchy anymore in most Funimation dubs unless it's already in the subtitles because those words are words that brain dead weebs can get mad at and share on various image boards. I guess they're talking about my video. These people are activists. They're not localizers, they're activists. And like, I I'm just really kind of shocked that like, why would anybody be okay with this? Why would anybody like this? And I think that really, like, these people need to get reined in by the other people that are on that same spectrum as they are. Because, like, you should see that the... the what's the word for it? The uh, optics of this are so bad. Like, it, it takes something that's, like... I mean, like, being more open to, like, somebody else's lifestyle, assuming that they're not hurting somebody, like, that's supposed to be a good thing. But whenever you try to, like, rub it in people's face and try to, like, like, fucking force people to like it and then call them, like, freaks if they don't like it, like, call them weird or, like, a weeb or something like that, brain dead, like, this is just, it, it, it's completely counterproductive to your goal. And it doesn't help make people less transphobic. I think it makes them more transphobic. And that's what the worst thing about this is, is that... These people think that they have, like, such a moral authority to make these judgments on other people that they think that anything that I do is good and anything bad that I do to somebody who I think is bad is also good. So anything bad is for a greater good and anything that they do is bad even if it would be good. So that's it. They're completely self-righteous pricks. They are. It doesn't matter if they're woke pricks or not. There's the same people that try to do this with other types of uh, media, too. And I, I will have to also say, um, you know, in light of recent events, uh, there have been some people who have thought that my stance on this also 
uh, translates to, like, any sort of, like, lolly content. Uh, I don't like any of that stuff, and I wish that there was none of it in anime at all. I think it's disgusting. And this is, I want to make one thing extremely clear, like, it is absolutely censorship. But I don't like seeing it anywhere, and I wish that we didn't have to. Now, do I think that I have the moral authority to say that nobody can see it? I don't know if I do or not. I wish I did. But I, I don't know. But I'm really talking about, like, using, using anime to spread a message that wasn't there. Have you seen the first episode of Ninja Kamui? No, I haven't seen that at all. My posts on your subreddit about the Lollicon stuff and so many PDF files showing up defending themselves? Well, people can have whatever opinions they want, and it is technically illegal. Uh, it is technically illegal here, so people can do what they want to do. Like, I mean, I, I think it's really weird, but I mean, again, I, I feel like there's like such a massive like be like that there's like be, like between lolly and like CP stuff versus like being sexist. That's like a mountain next to a molehill. Like, I'm sorry, but, like, yeah, I'm willing to change the mountain, but this is, this is a fucking molehill compared to that. Let's be honest. I think so long as those things have stay in fictions, I have no issues with it. Oh, I think it's weird, but it's people's right to look at it, you know? Like, I, I, I am judgmental about it, but... I realize that, like, I don't have, like, I don't have the moral authority to tell somebody else what they, what they can and can't like, right? But that's it. You say we should change Japanese culture, but then you approve censorship, sus. Well, I don't really think that we should change their culture. I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't like that part of their culture. It's very simple. I think it's bad. Like, that, that's, it's literally that simple. Like, there's elements of, like, different culture that's bad. Like, for example, I think the way that we do families is bad, and I think Japan does it better, and Asian countries do it better. Uh, I think that the way that they handle underage characters in anime is bad, and I wish they wouldn't do it that way. So, like, this is my opinion. Like, I, I, I'm allowed to have an opinion. I'm not saying that everybody needs to follow my opinion. If somebody disagrees with me, that's totally fine. But this is what my viewpoint on it is. Personally. So, yeah. Anyway, let's read the rest of it. Uh, companies like Crunchyroll are now supposedly avoiding terms they think will anger the audience. Even if true, this fails to address the issue. It's not the words in and of themselves. It's the fact that it's an incorrect rewrite rather than a translation. Uh, which is exactly true. That's 100% what the problem is. Uh, the, these people will admit to rewriting the script because they hated it and then act as though those who want the original work to be faithfully translated are acting unreasonable. The only unreasonable part is hiring someone who despises the source material. Forsake yourself is in the end supposed to be trans done. It's just terribly done. 2007 pro-trans writing. Yeah, and there's a lot of things that were terribly done uh, many times, right? It's like the... Uh, what do you call it? Like, old South Park episodes, you could say, are, like, super politically incorrect now. Like, and I'm not making a judge. This isn't a personal judgment. This is just what people think. And so, some people, at least. Uh, my point is that you don't recreate things for modern sensibilities because they weren't written in the modern age. Everything is a product of its time. And in 2007, the culture had a different perspective on trans people at that time. So if you write it as if that wasn't the case, you actually take away the value of the growth of the culture over that time. I think that you're actively like, it, it, it is, in my opinion, I think that it's very good that the culture has changed a lot in terms of how it accepts, like, for example, gay people. Like, whenever I was in elementary school... I didn't understand why gay people couldn't get married. I was like, well, this seems fucking stupid. But everybody else was in agreement that this is the way it should be. I remember talking about it with people like and like adults around me. And I was like, this is what the fuck? Why? And by the time that I got older, well, they changed that. And now you can be gay and get married. And I think that really the fact that people were massively homophobic then 
that should be acknowledged and known because it goes to show how far we've come. That's a good thing. And there are still people that are homophobic now. They always will be. They just don't like gay people. Okay, that's fine. That's, I mean, fuck. Like, that's, that, like, what, what, like, I can't control their, their mind, right? I think that they're wrong. But, I mean, what else is there besides that? It was kind of because of the Christian church and only has one narrative that it's for a man and a woman. Yeah, but, like, the marriage is recognized by a state and not a church, so it's different. I don't think that a church should have to marry a gay couple. Of course not. But, I mean, a state needs to recognize a gay couple, absolutely. It's just common. Every normal person thinks this. Like, I, I really, I, I think that every normal person thinks exactly what I think. Not the church, religion. Well, yeah, I mean, Islam says that too. Then Islam shouldn't have, I, I don't think imams should have to marry a gay couple if they don't want to. No. Absolutely not. This is, it, it's, it's their religious, it, it's their religious decision. But it should be acknowledged by the state. You should be able to get married by the state. Absolutely. It's not even a question. What is normal? Uh, I don't know. I mean, normal is everything that I think. Weird is everything that I disagree with. It's obvious, isn't it? Uh, as not true to the original fuckers, I don't care what they think. The trick is to change the intention of the characters to something that makes sense for them while keeping the intention of the overall story. Yeah, these are people that are trying to, uh... Lots of sweaty, racist nerd boys got mad about that one. Oh, the dragon maid thing. Because they didn't want woke politics in their titty show. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Pretty much. Get out. I mean, I don't know what else we're doing. Um, this new opportunity to add new jokes. Otani asked for a more contemporary compliment. Risa compliments him three times with three pieces of slang that are immediately dated, but from different decades. For the win is 2000s, Epic is late 2000s, and early 2010s, and Poggers, while being contemporary, is also really dated and will probably fall out of popular use soon. Wow, these guys are so cool. Why do these people feel like it's okay to change an author's writing? Because they think they have the moral authority to do it. That's why. And once people think they have the moral authority to do something, that justifies any action they take. It's actually pretty simple. We canonically wrote and directed Risa as a psychopath who doesn't understand empathy. Frankly, having a dub come out this good in the end is a little frustrating. Anyone who watched this show as a kid has fond memories of it and revisits the dub and think, wow, it's just as good as I remembered. No, it isn't. We made it good. The show sucked. I mean, you could say that for like, you know, people said that about the boys comic, right? But the difference is that the show's better. I think that it's it's always easy to say this, but like, is, is this something that you think, or is this something that the audience thinks? Because it seems to me like it's something that they think. This is their own, this is a decision that they've decided. Oh my god. Uh, and apparently they've made an update, Disco Tech has even replied to this. Our statement regarding a contractor who worked on the lovely English dub. Oh my god. We're aware of the comments made by a contractor that worked on Lovely Complex. The English version was made with the supervision and approval of the show's original producers. Dubs commonly punch up comedy and smooth over rough patches so the end product aligns with the show's intended audience and provokes the intended response. And there will always be shades of gray with adapting a work. And so, present as little alteration as possible. We are deeply disappointed at this individual's lack of professional discretion and will not be working with him in the future. I think this is a huge fucking W. <laughs> Rip Bozo. This statement is so dog shit, man. They didn't fire him for changing that shit. They fired him for getting caught. Oh, they probably didn't even give a fuck or care to begin with. And now that they found out about it, they're like, okay, you're out. Like, they can't probably expect or uh, know about all this stuff. Yeah, they said they agree with realigning dubs to cultural differences. Well, what? no, no, no. You have to understand what they're saying. 
they're saying that this is what the purpose of having localization is because the idea of changing like uh slang from like japanese slang to american slang that's what localization is supposed to do localization is supposed to change the words without changing the meaning but they're clearly drawing a distinction between that type of localization and what this person is doing because they said that they're disappointed in their individual's lack of professional discretion. So that they're clearly not saying that. And also, I mean, they're probably not able to, uh, to, to look at every single thing ahead of time. I think this is a pretty much a W. Uh, we're fixing it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, I think this is the best response they could have. Is it something burning behind you or is it just a bright candle? You know that candles are burning, right? That's how it works. Anyway, yes, uh, that's pretty much it. That's what my perspective is. That's what I think. I'm going to be honest. I think these people are doing a massive disservice to their causes. I think that they are radicalizing people against them. I think that they are completely insufferable. And I think that they're hurting the exact thing that they're trying to help. It's like, remember what I said about how I thought that there are like, uh, like oil unions and shit like that. These like oil conglomerates that are paying losers to throw paint on photos and like paintings to like make fossil f fuels look good by painting environmentalists as being ridiculous. I feel like these people are doing the same thing, but they're doing it for free. It's crazy, man. Woke cultists desperate for power and control. Well, everybody's desperate for power and control. These are just people that have it right now. That's really all there is to it. Uh, I've not heard about the Jopocalypse in ages. This is how I'm reminded of them. I don't even know what this is. Uh, it seems like most of the blame is on Jello. Never heard of the anime. I don't know. Imagine if painting restorers work would say the original drawing was ugly and it sucked anyway. So I made it better. <laughs> you know what the picture is going to be. Well, it literally says Ekihomo, right? But you know what it is. It's the difference between, uh, oh my god, between the original meaning and the localization, apparently. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder, like, at what point, whenever she did this, <laughs> did she think, wait a minute. <laughs> maybe this is messed up. <laughs> you know, like, maybe... <laughs> Does that happen? She's just stupid, man. 